concept for the village originated with several entrepreneurs in the mid 1980s as a limited partnership. Marketing of the community began in September of 1986. Construction began in May 1988, financed by the Limited Partnership. Several months later, the IRS determined that the enterprise could be exempt from federal income taxes. Whitehorse Village was financed with the proceeds of the Delaware County First Mortgage Revenue Bonds, issued for over $48 million. A board of directors was created and ownership of Whitehorse Village was transferred from Whitehorse Village Associates to Whitehorse Village Inc., a non-profit corporation having no affiliation with the original entrepreneurs. The project was built in three phases, the first of which was ready for occupancy on August 8, 1989 and the last unit was occupied on April 14, 1992. The community consisted of 306 residential units, two two-story apartment units, 116 one-story villa residential units, a two-story health care center containing 59 skilled nursing beds, and 39 assisted living units, and a central commons building. The final construction phase was the demolition of the last standing house and subsequent construction of eight garden cottages along Manor Drive. In April 2000, after demolition of the existing horse farm along the east boundary of the property, Whitehorse Village embarked on an expansion plan that included a 20-bed memory-impaired unit as part of health care services, an additional dining services area providing greater choice, an art studio for the residential community, enlarged administrative offices and 28 carriage homes complete with lofts, garages and other amenities. A master plan for an expansion in 2008 was presented to an expansion committee on March 12, 2007 and board approval followed. New property was acquired along the southeast corner of Whitehorse Village, increasing the existing property size to about 97 acres. The new property was two adjoining lots totaling 10 plus acres with five houses, four to be demolished, and the largest one kept for development as guest quarters and a conference center. Foundation work was started with the basic layout of the country house footprint 
on compacted and leveled areas. A final walk around the site in August 2009 shows green grass and growing trees. The Woodlands Court Road has had its final paving coat. A final interior tour of a Woodlands country house was made in the fall of 2009. A new two-story north wing was built with nine additional assisted living rooms on the second floor for a total of 48 rooms. Eighteen skilled nursing rooms were built on the first floor for a total of 49 rooms. Skilled nursing was converted to all single patient rooms. A one-story south wing with an atrium waiting area was also built to house and activities and therapy area along with a beauty shop and healthcare administrative offices. The new wellness center replaces a smaller existing fitness facility and outdoor pool. The aquatic center features a handicap accessible year-round pool and a spa. The new building also houses a dance studio, massage room, and new locker rooms. The existing library was extended in length for additional book display and houses two computer stations. The lounge area was consolidated into one large area and completely redone and refurnished. The dining room was reconfigured for additional usable space and completely redone and refurbished including additional sound attenuation.